Much of the nation is experiencing Arctic like temperatures tonight. The snow, the ice and cold have left stranders, uh, travelers rather stranded at airports all across the country. And now many of them are seeking alternative travel plans. Our Suzanne Kennedy is live at Reagan National Airport. So how are the delays and cancellations looking right now, Suzanne? Well, Leon and Allison, I just went inside the airport and checked out the boards and what they're showing is a slight improvement from earlier today, but still there are a lot of cancellations into and out of northeast cities like Boston and New York City. It's what is happening there and in other parts of the country that's causing some headaches for travelers in our area. Shelby Cruz has spent the last 15 hours at Reagan National Airport hoping to get on a plane to Boston. Her flight has twice been delayed as New England battles a fierce winter storm. I have like the worst migraine of my life. I've been here for pretty much two days. So I just finally got my suitcase back. This air traveler has also been stranded since yesterday morning. He and his cousin are trying to get to St. Louis. They thought they'd get out today, but got the bad news when they came back to the airport. In the morning today, um, the status of the flight when I was leaving, leaving home was, it, it was scheduled. But when I got here like half an hour after that, uh, they told me it's, it's canceled and the, and the online status was not was not updated. By midday, 2,300 flights were canceled nationwide. The majority of those were in New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Chicago, and here in Washington, D.C. So many passengers were stuck at LaGuardia Airport that some spent the night on cots. Zachary Kidd is having a hard time getting from D.C. to New York City. Amtrak is his plan B. I was supposed to fly out today at uh, 8 in the morning, and then that flight was canceled last night. It was rebooked for 12 o'clock this afternoon, and then that was canceled at 10.45 in the morning. Major airlines have waived their change fees for anyone who is impacted by the storm. As for Amtrak, they say they plan to have their Northeast Corridor service back to normal by tomorrow. Reporting live at Reagan National Airport, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.